Hey, what's going on? Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 video on FTG Full Tilt Gaming. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this. But today's video is all about multiplayer, multiplayer farming, and how to get started with everything new that is FS19. We've got a lot of changes to cover, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, what's going on everybody here? Welcome to this FS19 Multiplayer Overlook. We're going to show you a few things today of just at least what to expect with all the new changes in multiplayer, and there's quite a few. Um, so I wanted to kind of go through. Nick's already working on his part of the farm. We've already got one of our uh, one of our saves is already kind of split up into a couple different farms. So I wanted to kind of showcase this stuff as he's working in his own stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you what's going on here and how this all works together so that you can at least plan <clears throat> and have a uh, you know a decent first a first shot here at multiplayer because I, I guarantee you're going to have a lot of trial and error and you know I hate to waste time so anyway well, let's look at it here so in the farms you'll have now I've got three set up uh, peasants farms for any of those guys that you have no idea who they are and whether or not they're going grass you field throw them in the peasant farms and don't give them access to yours um, if you've got your farm and you've got close friends that you want to farm with but y'all want to be able to farm on the same map but maybe you don't have money for a server or <clears throat> you don't have um you know there's some other limitation that doesn't that 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 does give you the option to do that so this is a good kind of halfway in between so so what nick's doing he's in his own farm i'm gonna show you the land management because this is kind of where all this kind of starts so in the land you can see that i'm uh ftg's farm which is all the red and then you can change the colors for these. So I've created Nick T's farm in this save game. So we can see each other's equipment. We can see each other's purchases, but we can't really mess with each other's stuff. So if you went to go grass, if I went to go grass Nick T's field, guess what? I can't because I don't own that plot of land. Same way with, uh, you know, any of the stuff he wanted to do to mine, it wouldn't allow him to do that. It'd say, hey, you don't own this field, so therefore you can't do it. That's a really cool protection if you're just going to have open save games for people to come join multiplayer-wise. So you say, well, how does all this work? Um, <clears throat> and exactly how do I join and what what can I do? All these questions. So I'm going to try to answer as many questions as we've ran into and as many stuff that we have tested. So in your main screen, you're going to look at there's basically three screens. You've got the map screen. And then you've got your farm setup screen here, and then you've got your workers and management screen. Um, so both of these give you kind of what's what's going on here. So you as an administrator of the entire game have access to basically do anything in this because it is effectively your save game. Nick is not going to be able to uh, say grab this save game and then do it himself away from me. I'm going to have to be online as a part of my farm, but Nick can still participate and have his own kind of subsection of his own farm to work in my map if he wants to. So he can kind of go off and do his own thing and kind of do it respectively without, you know, me saying anything to it. So if he's on here at any point in time, I'm gonna dismiss him as a farm manager, but he's still gonna be able to do things in his own farm except for other things that you want to give him. So he can still, I'm gonna say he can still buy and sell vehicles, still reset i don't he can buy placeables that means cows any of the rest of the stuff uh let's say i don't want him to sell it maybe he can hire assistants i leave manage contracts sure why not do this uh maybe not create fields so how about this this is basically all the stuff that nick can do and that is on if that is on <clears throat> the farm in general now if i want him to be able to work for me the thing is right now and we've tried this so if nick wants to hop out of that uh, if he wants to hop out of the the uh, the harvester and come and try to tab over to one of my vehicles, he's not going to be able to. But he can see my vehicles because he can. Because I, Nick, if you look to your right, you can see me sitting in this red truck, right? Right. Yeah. So he can see me and see what I'm doing, but he can't actually do anything, um, which is actually pretty cool because this is basically how servers work. Although it just is not on all the time like a server is. So. Um, this kind of couples a couple things like we had the multiplayer mod money mod the seller mod all three of those are actually incorporated into the multiplayer engine of, of farm sim 19. so let's let's go back to the screens here i can grant him as a contractor so when i grant him a contractorship um, that <clears throat> gives him access to my farm so now all of these things that i've given him access to do he can now do for me so as a contractor nick can now access all of my farm vehicles he can access all of it. He can sell it. He can do whatever. 
Now, <clears throat> the one big thing about this is once once Nick T has got that position, now when he sells crops and when he delivers things, he's selling and making money for himself. So if he's coming over to work for you, there's two ways that you probably can handle this with friends. If you're working fields together, you'll have to take whatever profit was made and then he'll have to transfer some of that money back if you want him to share that money with you. Contractorship allows him to work in fields and do work and then sell the the sell the the um what he is making out of that or what whatever crop he has whatever he's taking the revenue that he's making from that will all go to nick t and nick t's farm so if you want someone to do that it's a good way to contract work say hey if we go harvest this field do all of that work for it then yeah just keep the money whatever now that's how contractorship works now you can also access multiplayer contracts inside of the map so the other thing that we did not have with 17 is you have also the access uh, to be able to uh, be a contractor for the imaginary farms all over the map. So he can go work contracts for anything, and that's all set up here um, in the main, uh, where is it? Uh, contracts, there it is. So contracts here right beside your farm management. All of this stuff here is all the money that can be made here on the map just by doing things for other people in a map. And he can do these just as a part of his farm without having any contractorship for me or anything. He can do all of this stuff and work uh, for himself use the actual default uh, tractors and equipment to be able to accomplish those goals so now going back to our farms if he needs help with something he could say hey um join my farm I, I need some help doing such and such and such and such well i can leave my farm and i could go on over to his well, hit join so now i am joined up with nick t's and he says hey i need you to bring something over to me well then i can go access his truck up here let's say we'll just hop up in this wilson and say he needs it moved or needs to done something with <clears throat> I can get in here and crank it up and then we can take off and do whatever we need to do now <clears throat> if I were to take myself or uh, you know I'm done with this part of the farm um, let's say let's go ahead and cut things off here escape out we'll go back to my farm now <clears throat> I can't access any of his stuff even uh, even as an admin of the farm I still can't access his equipment once i've left his farm because now i'm back into mine so now i can go back to all of my farm stuff and it really has no bearings on what nick t's doing so it's a good way it's a really cool way to kind of keep things separate if you want to keep things separate if you want to all work together then just have everybody join your farm and then you can decide easily what permissions they uh what what they have and what they serve so you can kick ban and you can also transfer remove them from the farm so if i want to remove nick t out uh, and don't want to give him access to the stuff, then you can just remove them from the farm. I don't know really why you would, because um, once they're removed out, you'd basically have to kick them because they could just join the farm right back. But they would join without their farm management. So you can also, let's say you've got six people. The last part of this, really, <clears throat> let's say you've got uh, you know six, seven, eight people that you're uh, working with. Uh, they can all individually work underneath each other. Uh, you can appoint one person as kind of the point person on that farm. So let's say Nick T is here. I'm going to promote him. And the only way for, for this to happen is for the main admin of the game to do this. So I'm going to uh, appoint him to a farm manager. And then after I appoint him to a farm manager, he now has access to do everything that I can do in my farm. He can do all of that for his. So he can buy vehicles, hire the assistants. And let's say Nick T, let's say we got Jim Bob and we got Billy No Teeth. And I don't know, we've got whoever else is sitting over here and wants to work with us then all they can do is maybe let's say they can reset vehicles let's say they can uh, manage contracts to make some money uh, and hire assistants and let's say that's about all they can do all you got to do is click their name and well, i'm just going to dismiss him to show you this but if you want to then just give him what you want to so all right we'll sell actually not sell play what give them to hire that manage some contracts reset vehicles so now that person can only do those particular things and then let's say you've got someone else can have a totally subset of uh, permissions set aside inside of the farm management for Nick T's farms. And this can apply to how many ever farms that you have in here. Now, the cool thing is horses, cattle, all of that kind of stuff, there's no more that's limited to one per map. So you can actually have a couple of different pins spaced across different areas as long as that particular farm owns that particular plot of land then he can buy whatever it is that he wants to. Uh, so if he wants to keep his own small little cattle farm, maybe he wants to do sheep on his farm, well, then he can do that. So anything that he owns or makes from that revenue-wise, 
Every bit of that goes into his farm and is not shared across the board. And that was one of the problems we had uh, with 17. Even on servers, we had to have a three or four different mods to kind of give us this access to be able to kind of keep money separate, but also keep people honest. And, you know, some people like to take it seriously and like to try to do things and have and, and work their way up a ladder. So this kind of gives you an option to do that within the default settings of the game. Uh, without getting too far deep down into it and the cool thing is this all kind of applies for console and pc alike this is default this is not a mod it's not anything you download so this all is going to come to you on day one uh, to where you'll be able to set these up in multiplayer sessions with your friends on day one which is pretty awesome so anyway uh, transferring money, promotion to farm managers, different managements, farms. I think that about covers it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll see if we can't answer them. Or if it's something quick and easy, I can either answer that and reply back to the comment. Uh, but anyway, Nick T is going to continue working on his farm. I've got a few things to do on mine. So appreciate the views, guys. Appreciate you coming in and checking this out. I hope it is a help to you. Uh, and if it's uh, if I can do something better on this or answer another question that you may have, you know, don't feel free. Go ahead and feel free to go ahead and put that in the comments and uh, and let me know. And we'll see if we can't help you out and get you off and rolling here to uh, create your own huge uh, own farm of yourself here with FS19. So anyway, guys, thanks. Thanks, Nick T. We'll see everybody here in the next video. Peace. <laughs>